All right, everybody. Welcome to another show, another great show. Really looking forward to this one, live from the Music Maker stage, where we go live for the vibe. We're really excited about uh, the show tonight. Um, I uh, was commenting to our artists earlier tonight how I uh, spent the week kind of looking through some of his different videos and just the music is just amazing great harmonies and uh beautiful backdrops some some uh really uh picturesque areas where he shot some of his videos but um we had sound check earlier and oh wow I'm, yeah so I, I said i felt like i was in church i just closed my eyes and the music was just uh really resonating with me so i i i really love that just that really clean pure uh sound and uh, you're going to get to enjoy that tonight as well so really looking forward to that as i always said if you guys have a chance and you can somehow run the show through a stereo or or some kind of a system other than your iphone or ipad or something like that um i strongly advise you to do so so because tonight's yeah you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it and speaking of sound we want to give a shout out to bose because it's because of bose and the l1 system which Every week that I use this system, I just fall in love with it more and more. It's just got so much capabilities. It makes it easy for a dumb woodworker like me to figure out how to how to mix instruments and do stuff and, and, and make everything sound good. Uh, so I'm really grateful to Bose, and we absolutely love the system, and that's why you're getting to hear it. Rather than us just holding up like a phone or something and you're getting the, the version that way, you get to hear it through this great system. So thanks to them. A shout out to the East Nashvilleian. Thanks for always being supportive to what we're doing. You might be watching this on their page right now, and we're thankful to them. Uh, good friends and neighbors and uh, just a great neighborhood magazine. Uh, continue to support them, and uh, we're thankful to them. So thanks to LR Bags. LR Bags has always been uh, really kind and sent us out some DIs or whatever we might need for our artists uh, to be able to perform here. So we're grateful to that, uh, to them for that. And then, of course, want to thank our companies, which is Delgado Guitars and the Music Maker Stage and La Tradición. Um, we were very blessed last year uh, in a year where we were not sure how we were going to make it through. Um, you out there supported us and because of that, we're able to do things like this and continue to support our artists and our community. So because of that, we just want to, again, thank you and ask you to uh, continue to show love. So as I've talked about before, uh, Julie and I put these shows together because we wanted to do something for our artistic community and find a way for to allow them to continue to bring you their great music and support them. So our show is absolutely free. You're not having to buy any tickets or do anything like that. However, we do hope that you'll consider doing a virtual tip uh to our artists and you're going to see a PayPal link and a Venmo link for our artists tonight. Uh, and that shows you where you can go to share a little bit of love. And I think we even have the, have the website up where you'll be able to learn more about our artists tonight, about a book that he wrote and a new single he's got out with a new album. So there's, there's a lot, but without further ado, I want to, I'm really looking forward to tonight. So get yourself a beverage of choice, sit back, enjoy yourself and Live from the Vibe, live from the Music Maker stage, featuring Ron De La Vega, we have Mark Elliott. All right. Well, good evening, everybody. And uh, it's a pleasure to be playing in this beautiful uh, showcase room here at Delgado Guitars on Music Maker stage. Uh, we've already had a good time just warming up. It sounds so good in here. So anyway, good to have all you guys joining me. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to get started with um, a song that, I've, that kicked off my, uh, my COVID uh, season of singles. <laughs> this, came back, uh, this came out in March. I uh, wrote it with my pal, Gabe Perdulis. And uh, it's all about this time that Ron got drunk and got on a train and wound up in South Texas. True story. Or maybe it's about the time that I lost my truck, titled my truck in a poker game. Who knows? It's called Craziest Thing. So here's a little hats off to your craziest thing. I hopped a train behind a biker bar. I was drunk as hell, didn't think it'd go that far. 
next thing I saw was South Texas in the rising sun. Yeah, I'd like to say that was the craziest thing I've done. But the only time I've gone too far had to be giving you all of my heart. Lost the title to my truck in a late night poker game. I had a pretty good hand, didn't think it'd go down that way. I spent the next six months trying to get around with my thumb. Yeah, I'd like to say that was the craziest thing I've done. What the only the time I've gone too far Had to be giving you all of my heart Ever been a fear Ever been a fun Loving you is the craziest thing I've done appreciate that. Thank you to everybody out there. Um, again, this is my good pal Ron Della Vega on the bass. And I'll be telling you all about him, all the appropriate lies as we go along. <laughs> so uh, I'm singing you brand new songs for me for the most part, songs that uh, a lot of them uh, are written with my pal Gabe Berdoulas who stepped in to produce a bunch of these for me. And he was supposed to be with us tonight but feeling a little under the weather so we're going to send out some healing positive vibes for my, bu my pal. This is a song about a couple. Uh, it's 50-50 whether these guys are going to make it. Uh, they're, they're fire and water, man, so uh, we'll see what happens. That's different than fire and gas. Because I felt you looking at me on that. <laughs> Who knows whether they're going to make it, so it's called Watch Out, man. Laughing earlier uh, during rehearsal because uh, I grew up in folk and bluegrass music, and when I put this song out, I got my first explicit E on Spotify, uh, which means that uh, there's explicit language in this song, and it's not dang. Apparently, when you say asshole in the first three words, they put an E on there. I don't know. Well, he's an asshole when he's hurting. She cries when she's mad. You put them both together, oh, watch out, man. Anything could happen, it already has. They blow on the roof, the whole damn truth still don't understand. Watch out, man. Watch out, man. Bottle, but she talks with the hands. Fighting 
and words fly across the room like a cannon blast. They both bought the same thing, neither of them know. Every time it's getting worse, how far can it go? Watch out, man! When all you give it is a heart attack Well, a heart's not strong enough When all you do is tear it up And love can't come beating back When all you give it is a heart attack A heart attack Slam the door, he lay his head down in his hands. But he heard her turn the car around. Oh, she's coming back. Watch out, man. Watch out, man. Thank you very much. So um, it's been a new thing to release singles uh, on Spotify. As a songwriter, I was reticent to do that, but it seemed like the only game in town. It seemed like a lot of people were having fun. And so this whole year has been an experiment in new songs and new production and uh, new ways of getting music out there. So I appreciate everybody going out and listening on Spotify and Apple Music. So that one's out there in the hinterlands. Uh, I just celebrated, or actually getting ready to celebrate, because February, about February 9th, will be my 30th uh, year in Nashville. Can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Moved here when I was 10, of course. <laughs> it's just been a really rough 30, you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, I, I'm not sure my uh, co-writer, Jamie Clee, out there in Colorado, uh, was able to listen in live, but she's going to be listening later, so I'm going to send it out to Jamie. Uh, it's amazing amazing being able to sing a song 30 years later. This is my first cut ever in town, and uh, I thought it was going to work out this way my whole career. A guy walked up to me, a publisher, and said, hey, if you'll give me a day contract on this song, I'll get it cut. And I went, well, sure. Sure enough, he walks across the street. I think it was Master Phonics at the time, and an old... Um, uh, championship rodeo rider was doing his record over there. His name was Chris Ledoux. He was a great artist, and he was recording this record with Garth Brooks called What You Gonna Do With a Cowboy. And uh, sure enough, a uh, guy walked it across the street, and uh, Chris Ledoux cut the thing. So I thought, well, this is going to be easy. <laughs> I don't know how many years it took to get my second cut, but I know one thing. 30 uh, years later, I'm still trying to make ends meet, which is what this song is about. So uh, I thought we might sing the uh, my first cut, kind of my oldest song in town. Um, see what happens. Left for work and he never came back. That's when Mary had to face the fact that it's up to her to start a new life. Two babies and just one job gonna take all the strength she's got. It's a hard road, but she knows somehow 
she'll survive making ends meet holding her own not afraid of a hard day's work give a family a home ain't nothing gonna break her stride it's too much love and too much pride standing on your own two Making ends meet. Back is just a regular Joe, and his daddy's farm is all he knows. With callous hands, he works the fields each day. The banker says the loans come due, and Bobby knows there's a lot to lose. It ain't fair, it's a lot to bear. But you won't hear him complain. Oh, he's making ends meet, holding his own. Not afraid of a hard day's work, give his family a home. Ain't nothing gonna break his stride. It's too much love and too much pride, standing on her own two feet. Making ends meet. Hard times come and test the faith of folks like you and I. God bless the ones that stand up tall and don't give up the Making ends meet, holding our own. Not afraid of a hard day's work, give our families a home. Ain't nothing gonna break our stride. There's too much love and too much pride, standing on our own two feet, making ends meet. We're standing on our own two feet, making ends meet. Well, thank you very much. All right, Jamie, I messed up the words, but. All of my friends there. Uh, I've been I've worked up this song with a uh, uh, with my pal Gary Cully. We have a band called Runaway Home, and we do this song t uh, some too. Uh, and uh, so this is a single that came out um, in uh, August, and it's all about traveling, of course, because you can't be a musician and not write traveling songs, because that's People think that uh, being a musician is playing gigs, but really uh, being a musician is driving, loading in, loading out, and driving, and occasionally playing. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is a song about the specific kind of traveling when you're by yourself. <laughs> someone, someone once asked me uh, about what it was like playing in a band versus traveling solo, and I said, well, it's actually all about what you say to yourself after a terrible uh, gig, you know. It's uh, if you are in a band and it's a terrible gig, nobody shows up or nobody listened or the, the owner stiffed you on the pay, you get back in the car and you yell back and forth about it, but somebody's always got the better attitude and they go, well, the beer was cold, the girls were hot, something. When you're traveling by yourself and you have a terrible gig and you're in the car, it's more like, what am I doing with my life? It's a different thing. Right? This is all about traveling home by yourself and the, the mind games that, uh, that happen. You know, uh, how is home? Is the person I left at home still there? <laughs> Are they the only one there? And I think there are certain highways that do it to you, like, you know, falling down the face of Virginia or driving across Illinois or Texas. I don't know about that thing about driving between 
Nashville and Memphis, but that might as well be three weeks long. Uh, so I guess it's a horse to the barn song. It's called uh, On My Way to See Ya, and I wrote it with my pals Gabe Berdoulas and uh, Tristan Bushman. So. All right. time way too soon when I'm on my way to see you on my way to see you an hour left Illinois never ends when I'm on my way to see you on my way to see you but rest stop junkies and gas station fools they won't stop me when I on my way to see you, on my way to see you, on my way to see you. Well, I'm on my way to see you, on my way to see you, on my way to see you, see you. Stop rewriting the last words we said When I'm on my way to see you On my way to see you I'm worried sick where you are Who you're with When I'm on my way to see you On my way to see you My mind is racing Got my doubts These thoughts I'm chasing Trying to slow me down I can turn around when I on my way to see you, on my way to see you, on my way to see you. Well, I'm on my way to see you, on my way to see you, on my way to see you. You're the only reason that I come. Back. No one else has ever made me do that. When I on my way to see you, on my way to see you, on my way to see you. Well, I'm on my way to see you, on my way to see you, on my way to see you, see you. Thank you much. <clears throat> oh, I appreciate you guys being my stand-in audience. I know that um, this great series has been going on a while. It's been going on so long that we used to play, f used to play for a live audience in this beautiful room. And those times are coming back. We're just not there yet. So it's really good to have all you guys out there in uh, virtual land listening along. So uh, let's see now. We're gonna do a little bluegrass song. So uh, I thought you were going to play banjo in this one. <laughs> um, it's got a funny story. I wrote this again with my pal Gabe Bredoulis, Um And we wrote it. Uh, he was on the road driving home, I think probably from Wisconsin or Chicago or somewhere in the Midwest. <clears throat> and uh, we decided to co-write a song with him uh, driving home and me at, me at home uh, in the in the kitchen uh, writing and so we would just send each other notes little audio notes back and forth so I, I wrote this course and threw it his way and 45 minutes later he threw me a little audio message of a verse and that's how it came about so uh, 
No excuses if you're a co-writer. You, you either got to show up in person or even if you're driving, you still got to write. So. This is a bluegrass tune. Uh, I grew up in D.C., which a lot of people don't know. is a hotbed of bluegrass uh, with a birchmere and an old group that I used to hang out with as a teenager and took guitar lessons from. Although you wouldn't know them now. Uh, called The Seldom Seen. And so I love this type of music. And so this is written about the need to get out of town, get up in the mountains. Probably the safest place left to be is up in the mountains with the cool air and the cool water. So it's called Sleep in the Mountains. Well, let's sleep in the mountains tonight On a bed of wildflowers and sheets made of moonlight Dream a river dream, wake up in the morning light Let's sleep in the mountains tonight Now you've been telling me that you want to get away the week is almost out, you can't wait another day. I don't want to go downtown, beat the traffic, fight the crowd, or watch another movie stuck inside the house. Let's sleep in the mountains tonight. On a bed of wildflowers and sheets made of moonlight. Dream a river, dream, wake up in the morning light. Let's Sleep in the mountains tonight. I spend a lot of money on candlelight and wine. When we got a flask of whiskey and a campfire burning bright. Dig out those old hiking boots and throw them in the truck. Oh, life can drag us down. We keep climbing higher. Let's sleep in the mountains tonight. Wildflowers and sheets made of moonlight. Dream a river, dream. Wake up in the morning light. Let's sleep in the mountains tonight. All right. We don't need it where we're going. Let's sleep in the mountains tonight. On a bed of wildflowers and sheets made of moonlight. Dream a river, dream. Wake up in the morning light. Let's sleep in the mountains. Oh, sleep in the mountains tonight. On a bed of wildflowers and sheets made of moonlight. Dream a river, dream. Wake up in the morning light, let's sleep in the mountains, sleep in the mountains, sleep in the mountains tonight. Woo! A little bluegrass for Friday night. Oh, man. That is awesome. Woo. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to talk for a second, then we're going to get back to music, so nobody go too far. But I just want to remind everybody, uh, yes, it's a free show, but you can share a little bit of love. So if you look on the screen, I think uh, down below here, there's a Venmo link, and maybe right up here, there's a PayPal link. Uh, but if you want to just go to ve uh, Venmo, and you're just going to tap right here where it says pay or request, and you're going to put in R-E-D, no space, G R. I Z Z one red Grizz one hit return boom there's Mark Elliott right there and then you can put, send a little bit of love his way for great music boom just like this and hit pay and pay again <laughs> and boom just like that nice and easy means the world to them um, you can also go to Mark uh, Elliott Creative. Is it Creative? Did I get that right? right yeah. Yep, MarkElliottCreative.com, and uh, his new album is on there. Uh, and you, is your book on there also? It is. Yeah, Star the Sons of Star Mount is on there also. So he was telling me it's a lot like uh, Stand by Me, kind of right? I Which I'm. Yeah. So I'm a huge uh, fan of Stephen King. 
and a lot of people didn't realize that he actually wrote that. Yeah. Yep, the body. Yep, exactly. Yeah, it was a bunch of short stories in there too. Shawshank Redemption. It was Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption, and they re when they made the movie, they called it Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> and App Pupil and all those other ones that were in there. But uh, so I'm looking forward to that because that's going to be a book that I'm going to enjoy. But anyways, share a little bit of love and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page and uh, tell people about our show as well. So, but anyways. Let's get back to some more music, all right? Thank you. All right. Well, I had this careful set list I put together that would flow nice and easy. And apparently, uh, Times Roman numeral 28 wasn't, isn't what it used to be. <laughs> so we just skipped this song. So let's go back and do it. I wanted to play you the oldest song I had, my first cut, which was that uh, Making Ends Meet. And now here's the brand new single that I have out. Um, that I wrote with my good pal, Melody Guy. And I guess the idea for this song, it's really been the blessing of my life, certainly my songwriter life, to participate uh, in working with veterans with PTSD. Um, we do it out at Vince Gill and Amy Grant's farm um, with Music Therapy of the Rockies, and it's a really great uh, organization. They bring together vets who are really hurting uh, and it's anything from, you know, young vets, folks that are still in in their 20s struggling to, you know, even Vietnam era vets. It really is a lesson in uh, um, what war does uh, long term. But uh, these men and women are really hurting. So they bring them out to the farm and they, um, they give them some music therapy. They give them guitars, even, even if they don't know how to play. They also get them started with some lessons out there for the weekend. Uh, and they give them guitars because... They look and they feel in their hands like a rifle. And so they've learned that if they can replace the rifle with the guitar, a lot more healing happens. So anyway, it's been a, a real blessing to be out there. They, when they're not doing music uh, lessons and therapy out there, they'll rotate them around and they'll put them with um, songwriters that are uh, there to help them write their story or at least one of their stories. And so... I think that was the genesis of this idea, really, uh, because I really understood self-doubt and questioning yourself and the pain that comes from struggle being out there with those men and women. And uh, was thinking about some advice, and I think when I sat down with my pal Melody Guy, we came up with maybe the best advice is just learning to talk to yourself like a good mama would. So that's uh, that's the newest single out there in Spotify and Apple Music Land. So. Done the best you can do with this day. Nobody could have done it better. Close your eyes and put it away. It ain't the best or the worst one ever. Though you say that you're standing still. And the whole world's passing you by You can't see it right now But you will, you will It'll all work out if you try oh, Talk to yourself like a good mama would Talk to yourself as a friend So find your heart again Your heart again Talk to yourself, baby I know you say you feel so long And nothing's been working so far They come and they go, I know, cause I've been right where you are. Oh, talk to yourself like a good mama would. Talk to yourself as a 
as a friend. Be kind and forgiving when no one else will. And happiness will find your heart again. Your heart again. in this is my pal Ron De La Vega up here playing bass <coughs> Ron plays uh, with my band Runaway Home too been with us for a long time and has played with everybody let's see Engelbert Humperdinck uh, Mannheim Steamroller maybe uh, Crickets the Crickets uh, Nancy Griffiths Blue Moon Orchestra hey if you guys have another two hours we're gonna go through the rest <laughs> of the list uh, thanks Melody <laughs> okay, that's authentically my mom then. <laughs> well, hey, Melody, I loved writing that song with your sister. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you for joining me. We were supposed to have my pal uh, Gabe Berdoulis with us tonight, who uh, I've written most of these songs with, and he has produced the, um, uh, the EPs that'll, or the singles that will soon be an album, probably about midsummer. And uh, if you want to hear a really great slide solo, go to, go to Spotify and Apple Music and... Uh, on Talk to Yourself, the new single, you'll hear him doing that. Um, anyway, sending uh, uh, healthy, peaceful vibes out is why I feel a little under the weather, but uh, uh, being well represented in songs tonight. So. Let's see. Uh, okay, we'll go back in time a little bit since I clearly can't see my set list. Uh, this I wrote with a dear friend of mine that uh, we lost some time ago. I don't even want to venture a guess now because I don't know whether it was yesterday or 10 years ago, and it could have been both, you know. His name was Tim Johnson, and most of you that know uh, country music and uh, songwriters remember Tim Johnson. He and I were uh, good pals and landed in town about the same time. And we had a little mini hit with uh, Neil McCoy years ago. When I say mini hit, it was somewhere in the top 15, but let me, for those of you that don't understand uh, songwriter language when it comes to hits, a mini hit is where... <coughs> The record label and your performing rights organization is going to say, hey, you know what? You're going to make this much money. And so you're smart, but you're also poor. So you go to the bank and you borrow this much money. And then you wind up making this much money. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's been my life. But I'm proud of this song. It did pretty well. And uh, it's one, one of my favorites to write. It's about a bunch of drunks uh, in a bar. Called every man for himself. Oh, we can do this in B flat, right? Hey, I'll play the B flat, you play the D, and people will turn off their TV. Jerry, he's a workaholic, never made time for a family. He's dedicated to his gin and tonics, but they don't give him what he needs. Joey, he pays alimony. 
them on it are two wives in different towns. Tries to act like he ain't lonely, but the single life will wear you down. As for me, I'm no different from the rest. I've been coming here ever since that woman left. Now, is it every man for himself tonight? We're all looking at the number one trying to move on with the lies well it's heartbreaking and it's so aching when you got nobody else friends it's good to have you here tonight but it's every man for himself In walks that long-haired beauty We're all praying she's unattached And I felt the chill go straight through me I've never seen a smile like that I ain't worried about Phil or Daryl Both are wearing their wedding bands The fools, the rest of us are fishing a barrel She can take her pick but understand That she can't save us all from the lonely lives we lead So bartender, won't you send her a drink And tell her it's from me Cause it's every man for himself tonight We're all looking out for number one Trying to move on with the lies Well, it's heartbreaking and her soul aching when you got nobody else friends it's good to have you here tonight but it's every man for himself i'll be your shoulder friend when you feel like giving up but if it ever comes down to finding love We're all looking out for number one, trying to move on with the lies. When it's heartbreaking and it's so like when you got nobody else. Friends, it's good to have you here tonight, but it's every man for himself. Oh, it's every man. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, hats off to my pal, uh, good old pal Tim Johnson. On that one. <coughs> Here's a song, uh, kind of an old song that uh, Gabe and I wrote. Maybe it's been three or four years now. Um, writing a lot these days, so an old song is last week anymore. Or whatever song I happen to forget. <laughs> They're all old. Um, Anyway, this is going to be on the next half of the record. Just went in and cut a bunch of new songs, kind of basic tracks, and uh, this was on there. And it's all about a couple starting over again and figuring that, hey, uh, if, if the uh, relationship's a little chilly, why not move a little south? So it's called Take You South. Without 
you this time this town for where the winners are some say it's too soon but it ain't soon enough oh even this town for where the winners are I'm taking you south I'm taking you Forget all about it when we ease on down there. You can kick off your shoes and let down your hair. Oh, forget all about it when I kiss you down there. I'm taking you south. I'm taking you Things down. I'm taking you south. Down, down, deeper down. Follow me, we'll figure it out. Trouble can't cross the line. Oh, down, down, deeper down. Reason for turning around. Going all the way this time. I'm taking you south. I'm taking you south. Do you feel like slowing things down? I'm taking you south. I'm taking you south. Do you feel like slowing things down? I'm taking you Thank you very much. All right, so um, here's another brand new song that we just cut. And I wrote it with my pal, Davis Corley. And uh, I guess it's about uh, trying to figure out what success is. And these days and times, well, for all of us, really, but certainly for creatives, we're having to redefine what success is. Hell, I've had to do that about every year of my career but uh, now nowadays you really have to think about what success is and this song talks about maybe uh, success is if you end up planting your feet where your heart is well maybe you've kind of got a hold of something so this is called back to the garden there's something about playing in a in a wonderful uh, guitar gallery with a great uh, luthier uh, I've been playing this old Martin D35 that I got when I was 13. And this is the first time I've ever had to tune it. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> but we're already looking this thing up and down. May do, I may have, have him do a fret job before I leave tonight. How quickly can you do those? <laughs> hey, can you do it between song number six and seven? That's right, I bet you could, and I bet if I turned around and grabbed any guitar on the wall, I'd be all right. <laughs> all right, so uh, it's called Back to the Garden. Too 
along going crazy daily it's the same old thing her dreams aren't the only things changing under those city lights new lives moving too fast full of friends that never call back she's leaving tonight with her back's back no more wasting time on Margaret's gone back to the garden oh, Putting down roots where the heirloom Cherokees grow Well, it's hard to be Planting your feet where your heart is Don't you know it's a lucky soul That winds up where it always wanted to go It's never too late to walk back through that side gate. Knock a little rust off the old rake. Brush some new paint on the fence. Well, Maggie always did look right at home on a dirt road in her work clothes. Everyone who knows her don't know why she ever left. Hey, just like that. Margaret's gone back to the garden Oh, putting down roots where the heirloom Cherokees grow Well, it's hard to be a Planting your feet where your heart is Don't you know it's a lucky soul Finds a This time I think she's gonna stay Till her long hair goes gray Till that last breath she takes And just like that Margaret's gone back to the garden Put down root where the animal Cherokees grow Plant your feet where your heart is Don't you know it's a lucky soul That winds up where it always wanted to go Thank you very much. So I think that's a pretty good uh, definition, don't you guys? I mean, put your feet where your heart is, and, well, if you're starving to death, you'll still have a good time. So, <laughs> so uh, we're kind of winding down the last couple songs, and let me just say again how uh, thrilled I am to be here and thank, uh, thank Manuel and Julie for having me and the great crew. Um, appreciate you guys. So we'll end up with these last two um, wrote this next song, uh, uh, The Night That John Prine Died. I do like that, right? So, <laughs> then I will too. So uh, singing this for John Prine and singing it for uh, my uncle Richard who lost his life to that same damn disease and for anybody out there that's struggling with it and have lost people to it, uh, we're thinking about you and we're ready for the running out to end. So. There's a full moon tonight and a tear in the sky Cause Prine didn't make it Something in the air got everyone scared And even the tough ones are breaking Maybe God wasn't paying attention To 
things slip by up in heaven Cause I'm running out of whiskey for all the people I gotta drink to And I'm running out of time to get everything off my chest Running out of luck, it's all I got left Trying to hold on to anything I can But I'll be ready when the running out The running out ends Sheila's not in the yard wearing shorts, breaking hearts, and showing off her tattoos. Makes the west side of town seem a little run down, much more than it used to. It's been a minute since the world flipped over. It's got me looking for a four leaf clover. Cause I'm running out of whiskey for all the people I gotta drink to. And I'm running out of time to get everything off my chest Running out of luck, it's all I got left Trying to hold on to anything I can But I'll be ready when the running out The running out Running out of whiskey for all the people I got to drink to. And I'm running out of time to get everything off my chest. Running out of luck, it's all I got left. Trying to hold on to anything I can. But I'll be ready when they're running out. I'll be ready when they're running out. I'll be ready when they're running out. Running out in Running out in There's a full moon tonight And a tear in the sky Cause pride didn't make Well, thank you very much. Um, I know we're running short of time, so uh, we will end up with the song. Good? Yep. All right, cool. All right. So, uh, again, thank you for joining me. It's been a blast singing a bunch of new songs and songs that I'm going to be putting out, uh, well, that I have put out this year and I'm going to be putting out uh, now in 2021 and uh, into the summer. So it's been, been fun. Thanks for joining me on that. Uh, here's another song that my pal Gabe Berdoulis and I wrote. Uh, sending a howdy out to him and everyone else that's uh, listening in. Thank you. So um, this is called Love Still Needs Us Both. Just because I can't sing. Hold me, hold me, don't you ever let me go. I still need you, you still need me, oh, and love still needs us both. We've got every reason to have these troubled minds. like a cold and rainy feeling these are hard times but I'm getting by oh hold me hold me don't you ever let me go I still still need me and love still needs us both remember when we started didn't worry about a thing now it feels just like we're drowning 
will come again. Take my hand, hold me, oh, hold me. Don't you ever let me go. Well, I still need you. You still need. And our sisters calling Every heart that has been broken We can let love down Hold me Hold me Don't you ever Thank you, Ron. Oh, we hope you guys enjoyed that at home. Uh, and uh, thanks for all the comments. And don't forget to uh, show a little bit of love at the uh, Venmo for uh, for uh, Mark. And you can also go to markelliotcreative.com and pick up the new album and uh, maybe check out that book that we mentioned earlier um, and just continue to support these artists as they're working hard to um, continue to bring music and just think about what life would be like without music right now and uh, or at any time. But um, so it's super, super important. Um, you know, uh, the world without arts is just not the kind of world that I want to live in. So please continue to be supportive of these artists. <laughs> Thanks to Anna. We have a special guest tonight, too. We got Anna here. <laughs> I'm really excited. I love to I, I listen to you, especially around Christmas time. So <laughs> that's my radio station right there. But uh, thanks again to Bose. Um, can't say enough uh, to them. They've always been, from the beginning, they've always been supportive of us and just providing us a uh, great sound system. And uh, the L1 just is amazing. Uh, thanks to the East Nashvilleian, also just good friends and always supportive. So we're very grateful to them and uh, LR Bags. And then, of course, uh, check us out, our Delgado Guitars page. And if you want to help us out, there's a couple ways you can do that. One, you can do something just as simple as subscribe to our YouTube page, which is Delgado Guitars. And believe it or not, just bringing those numbers up helps us so that we can get more. It, it basically makes sure that our feed starts to get viewed by more people, which means that these artists get more views. So we're not getting anything out of it. it it's really just a way that you can help if you want to help these artists. And you can share it. You can tell your friends, hey, we saw this great show. Um, you know, help out the small business and just subscribe to their page. And this show and other shows live on our YouTube page. So you can go there and check out past shows as well. Um, and it's just another way to help kind of cheer folks up. Um, we've been very, very blessed to have just some amazing artists week after week that come in here. And I know, you know, it's strange because I know every time I come up here before the show, I say, oh, I've really been looking forward to this. But it, it really is. It's we we you know, we re -be we believe in equity in the arts as well. And we have a, a, a great uh, variance in the type of music that we try to bring you. And so every week it's exciting because we have a different type or a different genre or a different style of music or or it's being presented in a different way. And we get the buildup of kind of hearing the music coming up that week and knowing what's coming. So it, is, it really is an exciting thing for us. So we're very, very fortunate. And we're fortunate for folks like this that will take the time to come out here, uh, put a set together for you. Um, for them, they, they miss playing out live. And uh, we get to hear the live music. But it's just, it's, it's if, if you don't know an artist, we're just, 
we bleed art. We have to get it out. It's just if we don't, we'll will explode literally. <laughs> so um, when you tune in and you and you support them, it means everything. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, tune in next week. We got another great show next week as well. Um, thanks to uh, Ava and Lila. I got to do the shot for the the girls here. Here we go. Our great crew. There's Ava running the helm. And there's little Lila over there on camera two. And Mama Julie on camera one. There she is. <laughs> and until we see you next week when we go live for the vibe, have a great weekend. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. <laughs> It sounded really, really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you. I swear it was, like I said, it was like being at church. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're in that cello grew, Ron. <laughs> it sounded awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys so, so much. <laughs> Uh, well, it was a great show. I got a lot of you got a lot of good people out there that were listening in. So. Hello. <laughs>